so uh, welcome back guys this is uh, question number six and previously we have solved part a b and c of this question while uh, d and e were left so today we are going to talk about the part d and e so let me first uh, remove all the things here so here we have x and x is equal to a plus b okay and plus a b plus b c whole complement okay so what we have to do we have to use these parts here uh, to find the output but here in these columns we have to split these parts and uh, first we have to solve this a plus b here we have to find this a plus b here and then here a b plus b c here okay so once we will write them at the end we will have to write them here and it will give me the output okay so that is a b plus b c whole complement so writing them here a plus b is here zero okay or uh, let me use white color here as well so this is a plus b so a plus b is zero here uh, here it is a b a b is 0 and uh, b c is how much a b is a multi a is 0 0 and b c is 0 0 0 plus 0 0 so the complement of it is 1 okay similarly here a plus b is 0 and uh, a b is 0 uh, b c is also 0 okay because 0 1 is 0 uh, and uh, 0 plus 0 is 0 and the complement of it is again 1 okay uh, 0 plus 1 is 1 here here 0 multiplied by 1 is 0 and bc 0 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 so 0 plus 0 is 0 and complement of it is 1 here as well uh, here what it will be 0 plus 1 is 1 okay a b is uh, a multiplied by b is 0 and plus b multiplied by c is 1 1 1 uh, so 0 plus 1 is 1 1 uh, complement of 1 is here 0 okay uh, similarly here a plus b is 1 because here a is 1 b is 0 so a plus 0 is 1 a b here we have to solve a b is 0 and b c is also 0 so uh, 0 plus 0 is 0 and uh, the complement of it is 1 so here we will get 1 uh, here 1 plus 0 is 1 what it will be here 1 multiplied by 0 is 0 uh, 0 multiplied by 1 will be 0 as well so 0 plus 0 is 0 and complement of it is 1 here as well uh, a plus b is 1 okay a b is what here a is 1 b is 1 so it will be 1 and b plus c is 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 and complement of it will be 0 here and here what we have to do here it will be 1 a b is 1 b c is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 and the complement of it will be 0 here okay so from it we can very easily find the output of it and that will be the addition of a plus b which is here and uh, a b a b plus as bc whole prime which is here so we have to add them together and here we will get 0 plus 1 is 1 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 so all of them will be 1 and that is what that is the uh, answer of my question which is d here okay so that is the answer of my question and we have solved them by using or by converting it into different parts so first we have calculated or solved the part one and then part b of it the second half of it and then adding them together i will get the output okay uh, so now let me solve part e of my question and for part e let me remove it as well so here removing it color so here the part here is a x is equal to a prime plus b prime and its multiplication with a plus b okay so that would be the dot product and here we have to find out a prime 
plus b prime okay and here we have to find out a plus b and at the end what we have to do we have to multiply them so all the procedure will remain the same as we have previously done so using this white color for it so here in this question we will have to restrict ourselves into a b uh, as compared to this c okay so what we have to do let me now remove uh, this c from here as well okay so how many combinations will i have removing it okay removing it from here as well removing it and then this one as well okay so we can see that now we have four combinations of the input while the c is not available here so 0 0 will give me this combination then 0 1 so uh, a prime is uh, now 1 b prime is 0 so 1 plus 0 is 1 and here 0 plus 1 0 plus 1 is also 1 okay because here a is 0 b is 1 so 0 plus 1 is 1 similarly here a, a prime a is now 1 so a prime is 0 b is 0 so b prime is 1 so here I will get 1 here as well while for this a is 1 b is 0 so 1 plus 0 is also 1 okay here we can see that a is 1 and b is 1 their complement is 0 plus 0 so here I will get 0 and here we can see that both of them is 1 so I will get here 1 as well so here adding them together um, here the combination is just like we have found out this part uh, this part as well so now multiply them I will get 1.0 is 0 okay 1.1 1 .1 is 1 1.1 1 .1 is 1 and 0 0.1 is what that is also 0 so that is the answer of part E here and uh, we can see that we have solved all the problems and for the last two of our problems we have first splitted them into the subparts and at the end we have combined them to get the overall solution so that is the end of our question and i will see you with some more problems in our upcoming video till then take care of yourself